legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. If you're an archer, or even if you fight a lot of archers, you may want to take a look at this archer video. Today in our archer guide, we are going to show you exactly what's the differences between a sage and a demon archer. You may need to be both sage and demon archer. We'll find out which is best for you and what skills to focus on. And remember, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and comment below to be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card on October 15, 2020. Let's talk about Sage Archer. See this push? We push off, we push the enemies off of the point. Sage Archers are so important. Otherwise, you will actually have to kill both of those tanks, uh, Kaboom and Tobirama. You will actually have to kill them. Now you can just sort of ignore them. They're just standing there and they don't have too much that they can do until later on. If they have Rage Burst, they can pull people off of the point also, but it's, uh, it's not as good as your, your Wing Burst. The Rage Burst skill it's possible. I mean, you have to get like two or two or three barbs and have them all pull. It, it's possible. But the wing burst, still on the Sage Archer, is still number one at bursting everybody off of the point. Sage Archers also have a long distance. They can shoot 20 meters away. See, Mowgli is a demon archer. Very strong demon archer. Stronger than me. I'm not able to get close to him, but if he's focusing on people closer to him, like a Tomo, then I don't have to do anything. As a Sage Archer, I'm able to attack people from outside their range. Look at this. You see that push? None of my characters got pushed off. So Stunbolt is supposed to knock you back also. And yeah, it's pretty much immune. So I've tested this somewhat. If you are lower level, a lot of times people will recommend lower uh, lower BR players to be Sage, especially in Guild League. But be careful if you are lower level, a lot of times your skills are not going to work. That Wing Burst may not work because you are lower level. Be sure to uh, always level. Do not hang, do, do not decide to not promote and try to farm spirit or your pushes, your pulls, your stuns, these types of skills, your PvP skills may not work on higher level. A Sage Archer is a sniper. They have 20 meter range, which just outranges any other class. Plus within five meters, they deal less damage. See that 30 hit only did about 2000 damage. Once you get to five to 10 meters, you deal a little bit more damage. Once you get higher than 10 meters, you deal even more damage. So you do want to try to stay in the sweet spot, which is between 10 to 20 meters in order to deal extra damage. Okay, let's take a look at some Sage skills. Lightning is a very important a skill for sage archers it will inflict lightning marks so that you can deal more damage oh yeah okay so if you are within five meters as a sage archer you deal 20 percent less damage this is important to know if you are like an assassin just sticking on an enemy or even if you are a barbarian anybody who closes the gap if you're melee and you're on a sage archer they don't have too many speed up skills that's what demon archers have demon archers have movement skills and sage archers has push skills so once after they've used their pushes it's very hard for them to escape a blast shot let's take a look at blast shot black shot a very strong sage archer skill you want to get blast shot as quickly as possible on the fourth hit it turns into a four meter aoe that does 45 percent of your physical attack at level 15 so at level 15 
blast shot turns into a uh, four meter AOE dealing 45% attack. So it's very important. Once you get blast shot, you want to actually put less points into repulse and wing burst. Repulse and wing burst, once you have blast shot, you will give blast shot 10 points or 15 points. Eventually you'll give blast shot 15 points and uh, you can give frost shot three points, repulse one point, wing burst one point. Since repulse and wing burst are very important skills, but you can leave them at one point after you get blast shot, right? Because repulse is a knockback skill, wing burst knockback skills. They are used mainly just for utility. All right, so uh, marksman, marksman is a strong skill. You will want to get marksman as quickly as possible. Level 15, level 15 marksman will allow your stun bolt to increase your crit rate by 20% for the next five seconds. So you will want to use stun bolt, then release all of your heavy hitting skills. Go ahead and level up lightning and volt fall. Wing sigil, you can just put one point into, not that important. Thunderbird is an important skill. You will want to get it to at least level 10. It will have 60% chance to summon a Thunderbird, dealing a lot of damage with Volfall. Volfall and Lightning do get burst up, so a lot of your damage will be in your Volfall and Lightning. Backflip is something, you know, just put one point into backflip because you just use it so that you'll create some distance you so that you're out of that five meter range where you're where you deal 20 percent less damage rapid fire is a good skill if you want to use barrage as a stronger sage archer as a stronger sage archer your barrage may be able to do more damage if you are a weaker archer you can leave you can leave that at one point because your barrage isn't going to like wipe people your barrage is going to tickle people if your barrage is going to tickle people put your uh put your points into other skills because you don't use barrage that often because it's a cheese skill those points will be better off in other slots such as blood vow blood vow is a very important skill be sure to level up blood vow Twin Volt is a strong skill. You want to eventually make it level 15. It will just allow you to your Lightning and your Volt Fall. All right, so Quick Volt, also you want to make it level 10. I guess eventually maybe level 15 as well. Volley is a very bad skill. You don't need it. I will leave it at level zero. Uh, mana, what you would do is when you're doing Barrage, you will go into your bag and eat a Mana Pill in order to prolong your barrage and last but not least sage 4 rare you will want to uh, put 10 points into it if you have that skill all right so now we are doing the demon archer demon archers are a mobile archer they do not have extra range they do have a lot of extra movement speed so that is one great thing is they are the master of kiting master of kiting if you are chasing a demon archer all you are going to do is uh, <laughs> all you're going to do is die because a demon archer can back up back away from you and continue to kite you until you die the barrage mana trick also works for demon archers. So once you get to about 20% mana left, go and use a mana stone or whatever mana potion that you have, and you will continue to use barrage for a very long period of time. Barrage is not very effective versus one enemy. It is very effective if a lot of people are standing on one point, for example, in Guild League. If everyone is defending a point, Barrage can be pretty strong. Demon Archers are known for their burst. Before Assassins, Demon Archers had the most burst. They could turn on their wing burst and then unleash a ton of quick shots and destroy their enemies very quickly, lowering their HP by you know more than 
just because they can shoot off, I don't know, 10, 13 quick shots in that brief period of time. Flame tip does give you more damage, and since you, you burst down your enemies using quick shot, you do want to get flame tip to 10. Side flip, jagged arrow. I'm just gonna put some points into those just for uh, just to get to sage two some people like burst fire burst fire is a sage one skill some people like it i don't like it i don't think it actually does anything burst fire does increase your attack speed however when you are using burst fire you are probably hoping that you can throw out some more quick shots i don't think that actually happens Alacrity is perhaps the most important Sage skill, uh, Sage 3 skill if you don't have Seal Shot. Seal Shot and Alacrity, incredible skills. You need to get both. Alacrity allows you 40% movement speed, allowing you to kite even the fastest enemies. Seal Shot is incredible. Uh, at level 10, increases damage, bind shots damage by 20%. And you have a 40% chance to seal your target at 15. Bind shots damage goes up 30%. And it's still 40% chance to seal your target for two seconds. However, I mean, it's worth it. That's an incredible skill. If you have seal shot, you will be able to make your enemies not be able to use any skills for two seconds. Do level up your silence level if you are using seal shot so that your seal will land. All right, let's talk about some other. The only reason I have points into Awaken is because I don't have any of the other Demon 3 skills. You should instead put 10 points into Thunderfall. And if you use Grace Fleet a lot, put 10 points into Sky Bless. And uh, Awaken, you can just put one point into. Reflex is an incredible skill. It makes you into an evasion demon archer. Demon archers, once they hit Sage 4, their evasion increases their damage. You will want Reflex at level 15 as quickly as possible. Ingressor will allow you to evade even more, allowing you to tank a lot of attacks. You can't actually evade enemy skills, and that that makes you incredibly incredibly strong so let's go over this uh, sage 4 uh, you will want level 15 reflex level 10 ingressor prepared you will want just one point into prepared actually you can put zero points into prepared yeah you want to have 10 points into thunderfall 10 points into sky bless uh, possibly one point into awaken Chi Arrow is a Demon 3 rare skill that drains your Chi if you use it. It does increase your damage by a small percentage. However, all of your attacks, including your normal attacks, will drain your Chi. So keep that in mind on whether or not you want to buy Chi Arrow. A lot of high BR players do not like it because they like Chi. So yeah, yeah, Prepared has a 5% chance of clearing bind shots cooldown. Yeah, you don't need any points into that. That doesn't actually increase your damage by very much. Dead Eye. Dead Eye is your level 4 demon skill. At, at level 15, it will give you additional 20% damage when your enemy is over 90% HP. It will also decrease their physical defense by 12 and a half percent for five seconds so yeah i tried to get the two skills for demon archer that are absolutely necessary will be seal shot level 15 and dead eye also level 15. bokata and quill flow are all pretty good skills you can level both of them up Bokata and Quill Flow are pretty good skills. They will allow you to kite your enemies. So you can level those up with your remaining skills. And uh, yeah, eventually you may have enough points to level those up to level 10. But you know, I'm, I'm on a, I'm on an archer that quit at level 119. So they don't have that many cultivation points. But yeah, you can eventually level both Bokata and Quill Flow up to level 10 
uh, for extra movement speed and some evasion. It does uh, synergize with Reflex, your Demon Force skill. So Quill Flow will be your priority. You will want to Quill Flow level 10 first before Bokata. Well, let's talk about Deadeye again. So your dead shot will now deal extra damage for people with over 90% health. So you want to try to get Dead Eye also. Dead Eye is a very strong skill, super strong skill. Try to get it, and you will kind of open with it. You will want to open with um, with Dead Shot. It will actually deal a ton more damage at level 15. It does 20%. Dead Eye will make Dead Shot do 20% more damage to people with over 90% HP. Plus, they will after level 10. Level 11 through 15, Dead Eye will give you a physical defense debuff. At level 15, it's a 12.5% physical defense debuff. That's a significant amount. And then continue to melt your enemies with a volley of quick shots. Demon Archers drink a lot of mana, so do keep some mana pills inside your pocket, even if you're not barraging. Those quick shots, all your skills when you are spamming them, will drink a lot of mana. If this video has helped you, let me know by liking, subscribing, smashing that notification bell. Every little bit helps. If you like this video, tell your friends about it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.